We covered a lot of ground in this segment of videos, everything from comparing a web app to a console app. We found out that basically they're the same type of application. We also talked about the host builder. The host builder has a ton of useful features that any type of application can benefit from. Dependency injection. If you've built web applications, you know that you get DI right out of the box. Without it, you can throw half of your development process away. App settings. You never want to hard code any of your app settings into your code. Having the app settings.json file is key to making your application flexible. Command line arguments or parameters as you might know them. Although the use of command line arguments is far and few these days, it's always nice to have it available when you do need them. Environment variables, another old but very useful feature to this day. You saw how powerful and easy it is to switch from one environment to another. I don't expect one round of videos to give you all the information you need. You can head on over to my blog where I wrote an article basically outline, outlining this set of videos. If you'd like to see more of my videos where I talk about creating a production ready web API application, head on over to thinkster.io where you can go into the .NET topics to view my videos. Finally, visit the Road to Code podcast. That's a show that I co-host with my son as he goes through his journey of learning how to program. Until next time, peace.